Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA video, we're going to be continuing our conversation of what the wanted system is going to be like in Grand Theft Auto 6. What happens when you get busted? What happens when you get arrested? What the engine is going to be based on and a whole lot more. So this is a follow-up from the other day when Rockstar Games Insider Tez Funds 2 basically responded to someone uh, telling them what the wanted system was going to be like. And it was going to be a big improvement over Red Dead Redemption 2, but it was mostly going to start with RDR 2. Like, for example, there were certain things that look like they're going to continue over, like lawmen spawning with an initial point of search interest. And the dispatch system would also come in phases much like waves. We experienced this with Red Dead Redemption 2. There's also a chance that police AI will do more investigative work to pinpoint your location by following dead bodies and such, rather than simply knowing where you are out of nowhere. Essentially, it feels like the police in GTA 6 are going to be way more realistic. Well, there was a lot more follow-up to that, and we've gathered a ton more information. As someone ended up saying, I remember seeing a video years ago claiming that apparently you've got to have a mask, completely new clothes, not to be seen by the NPCs, and a different horse. Apparently, there's some mismatch in the files or something. Never bothered changing the whole thing. Just put a sack on and rush in. Point is, it's broken anyways. I've always just robbed for fun and didn't mind the heat. Someone saying, I change their clothes every day in game. I'm pretty OCD about that sort of thing, but it still doesn't seem to help me in most situations. With him responding, that's an issue on RDR2. You can change your whole clothes, wear a mask, and ride a new horse, but you'll be caught instantly once a lawman sees you. Rockstar should address it in Grand Theft Auto 6. However, this could be a design choice. Considering that raises up the question of how would the cops catch you in such a situation? Voice reveal? Getting suspect vibes from seeing a masked person? It's not like the cops will walk towards you and ask for an ID. As much as advanced the next title would be, it certainly wouldn't reach this level of advancement. Not to mention this effect of slowing down the fast-paced gameplay. And how would this work with NPCs around? If the cops only approach you, the player ignoring everyone else, then that's another realism-breaking issue, much like the lawman detecting you instantly upon seeing whether you're masked or not. All questions Rockstar hopefully finds an answer to. So the situation he's describing there is even if you do everything right in Red Dead Redemption 2, you change your outfit, you hide your appearance, and you get away in a new vehicle or horse in this instance, how do the cops immediately know it's you? Like, for example, in real life, if they had a wanted description and a vehicle description, but you completely changed your appearance and are in a new vehicle, why would they immediately stop you? They would have no reason to. This is something that Rockstar should address in Grand Theft Auto 6, but it does also present Rockstar some more complicated challenges because they don't want to break the realism of the game by slowing down the gameplay. Because if a cop were to ask you for your ID, like someone might happen in real life, that could take minutes at a time. And then how would you program all of the NPCs to respond to something like that? They're not just going to go about their daily business if they see something like this happening. So there's definitely a nice balance that Rockstar has to have here. And I think based on what we've seen so far from the GTA 6 leaks, it looks like Rockstar is going to reach a nice balance. There's a lot of features like time until cops dispatch. They also will recognize the license plate of the vehicle you're in. So it makes it imperative that if you want to escape, you have to change cars because they will recognize the vehicle. It also looks like police will be using CCTV. So if you commit a crime in a heavily populated area where there's traffic cameras and security cameras, there's a good chance they could use that footage to end up catching you later down the road. And I would also suspect, just like Red Dead Redemption 2, there's going to be a dynamic wanted feature. If you continue to commit a crime in an area, you're going to have an impossible time entering that area without becoming wanted instantly. Just like what we see in Red Dead Redemption 2 now, where if you basically commit a crime, there's going to be this red outline around that area. And anytime you enter that area, you'll immediately become wanted. I know it's not super realistic, but it does sort of add to the fact that you can't just do whatever you want in the exact same place over and over and over again without consequences. So it looks like the police are definitely going to be more advanced. Now, some more follow-up to that, as someone ended up saying, when you say based on RDR2 systems, do you mean using that code as a foundation and then building further, 
or just playing it safe and assuming it will be Red Dead Redemption 2's level as a baseline. And he said, as a foundation, it's the same engine. Red Dead Redemption 2 was built off a 2014 version of GTA 5 Next Gen, PS4 and Xbox One. They took the same systems at the time and started iterating and improving upon them, as well as introducing new ones. There are some things exclusive for Red Dead Redemption 2 that obviously won't be used, like the Bounty Hunter's response as a part of the dispatch system. In fact, that could be remodeled to resemble the SWAT team in a way that the SWAT team acts of more of a special division rather than spawning at five-star wanted levels to be called in at any point regardless of the wanted stars. And more follow-up, for example, there was an obvious fake leak a while back that had a cool idea regarding police AI. Basically, instead of spawning in your vicinity, they'd actually have to travel from the police station all the way to you in real time. I don't know if something like that would be possible, but it's an awesome idea, in my opinion. And he said, technically speaking, it's possible, but it would consume resources. Rockstar did attempt to give us that sense of immersion on RDR2 with the idea that the law takes a while to arrive and comes in waves and phases. Rockstar spawn them outside in the wilderness and lead them in the town to give the sense of immersion that the lawmen arrived from another town. So starting at the top, just like Red Dead Redemption 2 was based on the next generation version of Grand Theft Auto 5, GTA 6 is going to be based off of Red Dead Redemption 2. And even though some things will obviously not be used, like bounty hunters, because that wouldn't make sense for a modern day Vice City, a uh, modern day, you know, sort of metropolis Miami. But what Insider Test Funds 2 says they could do is, you know, sort of transform the bounty hunter response into something else, like a SWAT team. Like, for example, if you do commit a lot of crimes in an area in a short period of time, you'll actually have SWAT team sent after you. It won't just occur exclusively at getting a five-star wanted level. They could be called at any point, regardless of if you have any wanted stars at all. And regarding that second point, giving us the idea that there's going to be a sense of immersion that cops take a long time to arrive, I think we've already seen that in the GTA 6 leaks. In the diner robbery scene, there's actually a bar that you can see, uh, you know, trendling down that says time until cops dispatch. So the cops don't just show up immediately, or at least they don't in certain situations. It takes them a while to arrive. And that's going to be a neat gameplay element of how much money you can get risk versus reward until the cops actually arrive and it does give them the idea that they came from a centralized police station or that the nearest officer was maybe 10 or 15 minutes away not just spawning outside of the store you're robbing instantaneously so definitely some nice things to think about right there but i think this gives us a pretty good idea of how the wanted system is going to work in Grand Theft Auto 6. My hope is that Rockstar combines the best of Grand Theft Auto 4, GTA 5, and Red Dead Redemption 2, but I would love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Let me know what you think Rockstar is going to do regarding the wanted system in GTA 6. Do you think it's going to be like what Insider Tez Funds 2 has described, or do you think it's going to be something entirely different altogether? Let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go and enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.